put away your winter wardrobe and instead take out those umbrellas. I'm meteorologist Dr. Athena Masson. Our high temperatures later on this afternoon, pretty mild, getting on up close to 70 degrees. 70 about for your high in Gainesville, 73 in Ocala, reaching the mid 70s to the south towards the villages. Over towards the I-10 corridor, very likely only going to be staying in those mid to upper 60s. We are tracking a cold front, currently moving through parts of the Florida Panhandle, just ahead of it. Scattered showers moving their way through Alachua and Marion County starting around lunchtime, but these will become enhanced and become more widespread as the afternoon and evening progresses as that cold front inches just so slowly towards us. By 6 p.m., even some widespread showers making their way into Lake City and down towards Gainesville. Throughout the evening and into the overnight, those shower chances sticking around, lessening around midnight as that cold front finally approaches our area. On the back side of it, slightly cooler conditions and a little bit less rain, but we are expecting this wet pattern to continue for the next few days. Let's check out this cold front. Should be moving through parts of the Florida Panhandle early today, but by late tonight, moving right over our region. But notice, Friday and into Saturday, it is slowing down, just becoming almost stationary over central parts of the Florida Peninsula. This is where the forecast gets a little bit complicated. Cyclogenesis could occur, which means that a low pressure system forming just off the coast of Florida. That's going to help to energize this cold front. We could be seeing one more round of showers, maybe even some rumbles of thunder through Saturday, but drying out Sunday as that cold front pushes down towards South Florida. And we are not done yet. Already tracking our next cold front expected to arrive by Monday. Our temperatures, though, continuing to stay mild.